Smart meters. How much radiation is too much going in and out of your home? This analog meter poses no threat to your life right now. With the smart meter, it will. There's no state or federal mandate that says you have to have them. So please, just say no for the meter. The analog meter is a baseline for how much radio frequency radiation we are exposed to in the opt-out smart meter issue. What we have to look at is just how much radiation we have at an analog home with no cell towers interfering, with no routers, modems, with the Wi-Fi turned on, no deck phones, no other wireless. And here at this house, we have, as the meter zeroes on in, you will see it's going down to 90, 60, 20, 4 microwatts per meter squared. We have no radiation in this residence in Shelby Township, Michigan. As you can see, the analog meter works very steady and poses no real threat to the consumer. As it's working, you will notice that I will turn on the high frequency analyzer and it will zero on in to 4 microwatts showing that, that we are not emitting any radio frequency radiation from this meter or the home. What must be noticed, noticed about this is that, that open way itron meter that is at the end of this video is 12 minutes long. The significance of that is I ended it after 12 minutes of steadily watching that open way meter send out a signal up to about 1200 microwatts continuously radiating the people in that home. How much radiation, how much RF is too much. Looking out the window, the analyzer is zeroing down, pointing away from everything, we're down to 10 microwatts per meter squared. I'm going to turn the analyzer around and we'll check the radiation in this home. Go to the dining room with the smart meters on the approximately one foot from the smart meter. It has chin claw wrapped on both sides of it. I'm going to go to the window. There's a cell tower outside the window. It's obstructed from the front of the building.
deck phone in the corner of the dining room. There it is over there. This is in the uh, room you want to call this, the uh, dining room. We're going approaching the laptop computer for the Wi-Fi. Really don't have any much radiation coming off that at all. Okay, down the hallway right now there is there is none. We're going to go into the child's bedroom. Okay, we we'll do that as we get closer. Just turn the light on the There we go. And so on this round against uh, 200. That's a lot. Out the window, it goes down to 158, 34. And we got it down to, by the doorway, down to 1815. The doorway says we have 24. And turn back around towards the baby monitor. There's the crib. Okay, 122 is coming through the wall. 99. 185. 138 towards the baby monitor. And 65 at the highest, 189. Going to go back towards the doorway again. Right at the doorway, 23. 65, 70. This is the upstairs bedroom over where the meter is outside the window. And I'll go to the window and we'll see if that cell tower is affecting us. No, I'm not catching anything out of the window. Back to the corner where the smart meter's at. Right below us. It is about the highest we're getting here. This is where the Wi-Fi router is in the bedroom. 1300, 1800, 907, 17.
This is approximately three feet from the meter. We've been monitoring this for approximately one and a half minutes. These are continuous readings without interruption. The video is continuous.